Hello, LS11 Universe, it's Sander, and welcome back to WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. Welcome back to Impact Wrestling. We are here tonight on the road to Heroes Welcome, which is just three weeks from this Saturday. We are 24 days, 23 days away from Impact Heroes Welcome live in Scotland. And ladies and gentlemen, here to give his final farewell speech is the phenomenal AJ Styles. He was permitted by management and by WWE to stick around for one more night to give a farewell speech to the Impact fans. Well, um, here we are. You know, I was hopeful that I'd be coming out here tonight to celebrate being the new Impact World Champion, but as he has done many a times in our career, Samoa Joe proved he was the better man tonight. I'm not going to sit here and act like he wasn't. I'm not going to sit here and say that he wasn't because he was. He knocked me out. He beat me. Center of the ring. So I just wanted to say tonight, thank you to everyone Everyone that support AJ! You're not going to waste any more time for people like me who are here week in and week out. This show runs on the main event Mafia's time and you know that. Kaz, if you, Kaz, if you don't get the hell out of my face right now, you're lucky I'm not in my ring gear or I'd drop you right now and win that X Division title. Huh. <laughs> Yeah? Is that what you think? Yeah. After all, I was the first man to ever hold it. So maybe I knocked the taste out of your mouth while I'm here in a t-shirt and jeans. You hear that, ref? I think he wants it. Let's do this. Ring the bell. We'll do it right now. Well, folks, we're, we're doing this. AJ Styles is... AJ Styles is in his street clothes. He's not in a... He's not even in gear. He's wearing tennis shoes. And Styles is... He was... This was not... This wasn't supposed to happen last week. Last week at Turning Point, that was supposed to be it for AJ. He was supposed to be done. He struck a deal to... To stay for one more night, but now... AJ Styles is challenging Kaz for the X Division title. And he drops him with a knee into the ribs. AJ Styles getting Kazarian back to his feet now in the phenomenal one. Just connecting with those bare knuckle strikes right now. He doesn't have those gloves on. So AJ Styles, while he might be damaging Kazarian possibly more, he doesn't have the he doesn't have the added resistance of the gloves that cushion his hands. AJ Styles is firing away on Kaz here. AJ Styles knocks him back with right hooks. And Kazarian floats over. Neckbreaker to Styles. And now Kaz grabs onto him. He's got a hold of Styles. Picks him up. Gut wrenches him. Turns it into a tombstone. Taking down the phenomenal one. AJ starting to get back up. And now Kaz picks him up and drops him. And now Kazarian. Standing over him, but AJ Styles. Here we go. Forearms kicks him. Back elbow and clothesline. AJ Styles has got Kazarian down. AJ Styles kicking away at him repeatedly. Styles putting the boots to him. Kaz back to his feet. Kaz sweeps the leg. Now AJ. Oh, what a jump block. Taking down Kazarian. Frankie Kazarian back up into a clothesline. Knocking him down. Kazarian grabs onto Styles, pulls him in. Frankie Kazarian with AJ into the corner. Kaz now grabs onto him. Has the has the phenomenal one. Sends him off the ropes. AJ, whoa, backflip from Kaz. Kaz ducks the forearm into. Whoa, AJ ducks him. AJ Styles now. Turns it into Northern Lights. Down goes Frankie Kazarian. AJ Styles. What are you doing, AJ? AJ, you're in you're on ring gear. What the Dives over the top rope. 
AJ getting him back up to his feet. And AJ Styles with Kaz back into the ring. Styles has got him down. AJ pacing back and forth. Referee in his way. Whoa, Kaz got the worst of that. And Styles, phenomenal forearm. Busts Kazarian open. One, two, no. Kaz is still in it. AJ with a forearm into another. AJ Styles ducks under him. Pele kick. Styles has got Kaz down. AJ Styles springboard. 450 to Kazarian. And AJ Styles, there's no way, grabs Kaz, lifts him up, hits him with Styles Clash. One, two, three. And while wearing his street clothes, not even dressed for a match, AJ Styles extends his stay in Impact by winning the X Division Championship. Remember, the deal was, if AJ Styles won gold, he would stick around until he lost it. Well, it's not the Impact World title, but your winner and new X Division Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Excuse me, excuse me, Samoa Joe. I just want to catch up. You hear about what just happened? Yeah, I was gonna get your reaction to Kaz losing his. You better get away from me right now if you're gonna ask about that, or I'm gonna put you through that table and break every bone in your fucking body. Got it? You want to know how I feel about things? I'll explain it in the ring, tonight. Well, um, I, uh, you know, um, I'm gonna need a, gonna need a fresh pair of pants after that one. Um, Smoke Joe's a scary man. Anyways, we got some more action coming up as here comes Trinity to the ring, full transparency. As of last night, I have a bunch of new impact mods specifically for the knockouts division. Those will get installed over the next week. Um, for reference on why they're not installed yet, uh, long story short, uh, I've been working on getting Ray set up on PC, so most of my modding time has gone to making a mod pack for Ray. Uh, so hopefully AEW will be on PC in the next. I'm not going to give a time frame, actually, because that's a, it's a dangerous idea to give a time frame. But what I can announce is that Trinity, who has made her way to the ring tonight, is going to be in a big matchup in just three weeks' time at Heroes Welcome because she's going to be involved in a triple threat matchup where we're going to find out who's going to challenge Hikaru Shida at Bound for Glory in just seven weeks from this Saturday, December 30th, the second to last show of the year of 2023 for LS11 Universe. There will be two, there will be a double, <clears throat> excuse me, I did it wrong, double premiere weekend. The last weekend of 2023, we're going to have both Impact Bound for Glory, our third Bound for Glory in Impact history, and we're going to have we're going to have WWE Evolution, the first all women's pay-per-view in LS11 history. As here comes the opponent of Trinity tonight, Giselle Shaw, the quintessential diva, makes her way down to the ring. So will Giselle Shaw knock off some uh, knock off some of Trinity's momentum she's been building up, or will Trinity bring the glow tonight? She knocks her back here, Trinity. I don't know those kicks, man. Trinity known for being a, a kick specialist here, known for her wide range of kick-based offense. Leg drop connects. She knows that most of her power comes from her legs. So she uses that to her advantage with these kicks. She brings more kicks up onto Giselle Shaw, who grabs onto her now, punching away at her. Giselle Shaw grabs Trinity and throws her across the ring, taking her down. And now Giselle Shaw grabs onto her. Giselle Shaw is actually one of those I've got a mod for now. Grabs Trinity, going for a German. Trinity backflips out of it now, and Trinity, oh, what an uppercut, taking down Giselle Shaw. Gets her back up to her feet now, does Trinity, firing away on her. Trinity... 
Forearm strike to Giselle Shaw. And now look at the kick. He's got her in the head again. Down she goes. Giselle Shaw rolls out of the ring. So Trinity. Oh! Missed the dive. Giselle Shaw got out of the way. Trinity getting back up to her feet. Giselle Shaw, though, grabs onto her. Pulls her in. Northern Light Suplex takes her down. Reverie restarts the count now. And now Giselle Shaw, right hook to Trinity, knocks her back. Three count. And belly to belly taking her down. Referee the count of four as Trinity is picked back up. Giselle Shaw throws her back into the ring. Shaw celebrating as Trinity pulls herself back up now. And Trinity, whoa, went for a baseball slide. Giselle Shaw back into the ring though. Grabs onto her, pulls her in. Grabs her by the arms, lifts her up, and takes her down with a power bomb into a cover now. Giselle Shaw, one, two, no. Trinity kicks out. And now Giselle Shaw grabs onto her, pulls her in, sends her off the ropes. Massive knee strike takes her down. And there's a kick. Goes for another one. Trinity out of the way. Trinity caught by Shaw, who hits her with a belly to belly, taking her down again. And now Giselle Shaw getting her back up to her feet here. With Trinity back up again. Drop kick connects. And now Trinity pulling herself up in the corner. Giselle Shaw kicked in the head. Trinity knocks her back. Takes her down. Into a cover. Trinity for the one. For the two. No. Giselle Shaw kicks out. And now Giselle Shaw pops up. And head scissor takedown. Into a DDT. Grabs onto her now, does. Grabs onto her now, does Giselle Shaw taking down Trinity. Grabs onto her, getting her back up to her feet. Pulls her in, kicks her in the ribs, and. Jumping neck breaker connects. Giselle now getting her back up to her feet. Shaw grabs onto Trinity. Spinning wheel kick connects from Trinity. And now Trinity hits her with the rear view. Grabs Giselle Shaw, picking her back up to her feet, and Trinity. Picks her in the ribs. Here we go. Rolls her through. Brings her in. And pulls her away from the ropes to lock in the submission. And Trinity for the win here. Giselle Shaw in trouble. Trinity forcing the submission. And that's another win for Trinity tonight. Trinity with the big victory there. Puts down Giselle Shaw in quick fashion with that submission. Trinity picks up the momentum. So we got to find out who the mystery opponent's going to be for herself and Jordan Grace at Heroes Welcome itself. But we'll find that out closer to time. We still got plenty more coming up tonight on Impact Wrestling. And why the hell should I trust someone like you when you know good and well what I've been doing to guys like you from the Fed? Whoa, whoa, big guy. Look, look. I'm not saying that you have to trust me, but I'm just saying maybe I've got a problem with, uh, maybe I got a problem with the Fed too. I mean, they fired me twice, dude. They kept putting me in impossible situations that sent me on a three-year losing streak. Of course I hate them. And so I hate everyone that stands for them. Like Keith Lee. Like Rhino. Like Heath. And you know, Heath's had Rhino backing him up for months. Years even. So maybe the wrestling god needs the most professional wrestler to keep the odds even for him. I mean, think about what we can do together, Moose. I'm talking the most professional Wrestling gods. Just don't get in my way tonight. We got some six-man tag team action coming up. As now, here comes Eddie Edwards to the ring looking to bring the Boston knee party to this six-man tag team matchup. Right 
Eddie Edwards. We recently saw him. He's kind of returned to Impact more or less this season. He really wasn't that present in the first full season of Impact across seasons three and four. He was in and out, but we did not see much of Eddie Edwards. But now it seems that he's finally started to show up more. He, of course, was in Ring of Honor for a little while, doing Honor and more with the former Kingdom, who are also now broken up. You can catch them on LS11 Honor Club. We might have some, some changes coming to that in the near future. So Eddie Edwards tonight finds himself teaming up. With the design. Diener and Khan. They came close to winning those tag team titles this past weekend at Turning Point. So tonight, they team up with Eddie Edwards, the six-man tag match. But they've got their work cut out for them. Do the design in Eddie Edwards. And they're taking on not only the new Impact Tag Team Champions. Chris Bay and Ace Austin as well as the newest member of Bullet Club, Jacob Fatu. The Bullet Club. They expanded just a few nights ago. Really, they, it's more of a swap than an expansion, I suppose. First match we see with ABC as tag team champions. So Diener and Ace Austin starting off. I don't know what Khan was doing there. Oh, and Ace Austin came in for a kick. Diener grabs him. Northern Lights taking him down. And now Diener getting him back up to his feet. Diener, whoa, went for him. Ace Austin out of the way. Ace Austin, whoa, got him. We saw him use that to great effectiveness many a times. There's a knee strike from Ace Austin. Who's talking some smack now to Diener. And look at this, Ace Austin. Oh, went for him again. Diener got out of the way. Now Diener with a whopping clothesline. Grabs a hold of him. Diener now throws Ace Austin in the corner. And Diener grabs a hold of him. Up the rope now. Diener grabs a hold of him. Lifts him up. Choking him out up on the top rope with a reverse dragon sleeper. Down goes Ace Austin. Now Diener tags in Khan. The big man is in. And so, Ace Austin with a massive clothesline to big Khan taking him down. Into a kick in the face. Now Ace Austin. Whoa, went for a springboard moonsault. Nobody home. Double tag, Diener back in. Chris Bay, the ultimate finesser, enters the mix. Gets caught now, and Diener grabs onto him and throws Chris Bay into the corner. Chris Bay gets out of it now, and now Diener grabs onto him. German suplex takes him down into a cover. One, no. Grabs onto the arm now, bends back the arm. Chris Bay is stuck here as Diener stomps the arm of Chris Bay. Taking him down. Grabs onto him now. Right hook connects. Chris Bay. What a kick in the face. Taking him down. Into another. Now Chris Bay picking up the leader of the design. Grabs hold of him now. And Diener takes him down. Floats over him. He's got him down now. And Diener. 
Grabs a hold of him, pulls him in, and throws Chris Bay across the ring. Whoa, what a tuck and roll there from Chris Bay, who now grabs a hold of him. He's got Diener. He's rolling through his Chris Bay. He's got him down and takes him over into a cover. Chris Bay, one, no. And Ace Austin was ready to help as well. As Dina rolls out of the ring, what a dive from Chris Bay. And Chris Bay does it again. Using his speed to his advantage here. There's no way he does it three times. Yeah, he does. And he wipes out, he wipes Dina out with that one as Jacob Fatu gets him back to his feet. Referee the count of two here. Diener pulling himself back into the ring. And now Chris Bay runs in. Diener's got him down. Diener grabs him, turns him over. Grabs him by the arms and stomps him in the back of the head. There's a kick from Chris Bay, though, taking him down. Tag is made. In comes Jacob Fatu. Tag is made. In comes Khan. And the big trucks are going to eat the little trucks. Jacob Fatu taking him down. Goes for a kick, gets caught. Now, Khan throws him off the ropes and swings through. Neck breaker from Khan to, to Jacob Fatu. People peg Jacob Fatu as the breakout star for Impact Season, four, season 5. It's Jacob Fatu. Whoa. Counters the bear hug and takes him down. And this is Jacob Fatu's return to impact after being away for several months. As he's knocking back, Khan knocks him back here. Does Fatu. Jacob Fatu. Oh, God, I'm with a big super kick on that one. Jacob Fatu up to the middle rope. Fatu with a diving headbutt. Fatu, part of the Anawai family. The most legendary families in professional wrestling. As look at that Samoan drop. Cover. One. Two. Diener with the save. As now Chris Bay throws a drop kick at him. Oh, and Eddie Edwards takes a shot at, at Jacob Fatu. As Chris Bay wipes out Diener. Jacob Fatu taking down Big Con. And Fatu. Sent on across his back. Trying to keep Con from rolling out of the ring here. Fatu knocks him down with an uppercut. And Jacob Fatu up to the middle rope. Fatu with the moonsault. Cover. One. Two. It's saved by Eddie Edwards. But Ace Austin. He strike to Edwards. Fatu, back into a cover on Khan to try and finish the job. One, no. Oh, and there's the super kick again from Jacob Fatu. Tag is made back to Chris Bay. Chris Bay now getting knocked back by the big man, Khan. Right hook into the back, has him down, rolls him over. He's got him down here, and there's a cover now from Khan. One. Two, no. And now Khan goes into the corner. Tag is made. Eddie Edwards in for, I believe, the first time in the matchup. As Eddie turns him around now, grabs onto him. Has Chris Bay, lifts him up, takes him down. Into a cover now. He's got him down for the one. No. As now, oh, drop toe hold into a knee bar. Eddie Edwards trying to make Chris Bay tap out, but Ace Austin's right there for the save. What a clothesline from Khan. Jacob Fatu wiping him out. And now Eddie Edwards kicked in the head by, by Chris Bay. And the ultimate finesser now. He's caught by Eddie, who hits him with a neck breaker. Chris Bay is down. Eddie Edwards. What's he thinking here? Eddie Edwards. Going up to the top. Eddie. They're going to fly. Tag is made. Jacob Fatu is back in. Oh, he avoids the Boston knee party and kicks Eddie in the face. 
And now he kicks him in the back of the head. Chris Bay providing a providing a bit of an opening there for Fatu to grab Eddie Edwards into the pop-up Samoan drop. Cover. One. Two, it's saved by Khan. Down goes, De down goes, down goes Khan, down goes Diener. Jacob Fatu. Oh, went for the went for the Samoan splash. Nobody home. Now Eddie's got him back up to his feet. Went for him. There's a kick in the ribs. Jacob Fatu knocks him back. Uppercut takes him down. Fatu now. Goes to the middle rope and Jacob Fatu. Double axe handle across the back of Eddie Edwards. He's got him down now. Fatu, middle rope. Splashes him in the back. And Jacob Fatu with another moonsault taking down Eddie. And Jacob Fatu. Oh! Khan got him with a punch in the face. And so did Diener. And so Jacob Fatu now turning his attention to Khan. He could have had the match won there. But the design were just too much for him. The design distracting Fatu long enough for Diener to get tagged. Eddie Edwards and Diener now. Looking for a double team. Drop to a hole. Elbow strike. Taking him down now. And now Diener gets him back up. Looking to put him away. Goes for a kick. Jacob Fatu punches him in the face. Now Fatu. Look at the height of Diener. Probably tossed him a good eight feet in the air there. Cover. One, two, no. Chris Bay. Chris Bay taking down Eddie Edwards. Jacob Fatu with a bear hug on Diener. And just like that, I think Bullet Club's about to win it. No, wait a minute. Diener fighting out. But the ears of Fatu. For a close line, Diener. Knocked back now by Jacob Fatu. Fatu. Oh my god! Talk about vicious. Cover. One. Two. Three. He didn't even need the moonsault or the splash at that point. That was just vicious. Repeatedly slammed Diener's face into the mat until he was out cold. I think Bullet Club's picked up a hell of an asset in the form of Jacob Fatu tonight. A big win for the four of them this evening. Our main event for the digital media title. It's coming up next. If you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll be right back. Look, I, I know we've got the Anthem Board of Directors and the LS11 Board of Directors all working together right now to make matches, but uh, these on-the-fly things that are happening, it, the inmates are running the asylum right now, you know. We, we really need someone that can bring some, some order around here, especially with Kurt gone. I was thinking, you know, maybe maybe you'd be the right person for this. Look, we, we can talk about it more later, just Samoa Joe really doesn't like authority around here, and I, I think we all know that, and we've seen what happened to, to Christopher Daniels, we saw what happened to, we saw what happened to a lot of people that, that, that have tried to come in and steer the ship, so I'm hopeful that, you know, maybe, maybe you'll be the one that can, can get things back on track. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening. Now, you might wonder who I was talking to by getting some order around here. A good journalist never reveals his sources, and that's what my college degree is in. Am I doing anything to do with journalism now? No. That being said. This is the main event of the night. The final matchup of the evening, and it is for... The Digital Media Championship. 
Here comes the man who defeated Keith Lee at turning point. He shocked the world when he did so. It's Moose. And notice Brian Myers coming to the ring with him tonight. Moose with a chance to become a champion for the first time since the beginning of Impact Universe mode. He's going head-to-head -head with the red-headed rebel, the digital media champion, the man who's wearing his first ever championship here in the LS11 universe, the Impact Digital Media Champion, Heath, making his way down to the ring. He's got the man-beast Rhino by his side. A big matchup tonight for Heath, a big title defense. He beat Jeff Jarrett all on his own a few nights ago to win that gold, and now he's got to get through Moose. Been a long time coming for Heath. But he is the new digital media champ. Will he be able to get through that first title defense, though? It's a difficult one to do. There it is, the digital media championship on the line. Moose, Heath, one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Moose with a hellacious chomp out of the gate. Picks up Heath. Power slam. And Moose grabs him. German suplex. Heath with a knee strike now. And Heath grabs a hold of Moose. And Moose knocks him back. Kicks him in the ribs. And what a drop kick there connects from Moose. And now Moose grabs onto him again. For another German. And Heath rolls out of the ring. Heath is dazed. Moose pacing. Here comes Heath, though. And Heath, whoa, went for him. Moose caught him on his shoulders. Another power slam from Moose. And Moose now pulls him in. What is Moose thinking here? Right hook to Heath. Now Moose bends back the arm. Stomps the arm of the digital media champion for the legs, but Heath gets out of the ring. Heath rolls back in now, and Moose kicks him in the ribs. What is Moose doing here? Sends Heath off the ropes. Pump up power bomb. And now Moose kicks him in the ribs again. Throws Heath into the ropes again. Whoa, went for a second. Heath got into it with a Hurricane Rana. Heath's got Moose down now, and Heath's standing over him now. Heath... Shoulder block from Moose takes him down. Now Heath getting himself back up. And runs him through with a shoulder block again. Moose. Forearm strike. Close line. Ducks one from Heath now and Moose. Back body drop. Into. Spine buster. Moose. Oh my god. Just launched Heath across the ring. Grabs a hold of him now, and Moose drives him into the mat again. Goes for another kick. Now Moose, caught by Heath. Heath pulls him in. Managed to get a massive shot to the face of Moose. But it's been mostly Moose in this matchup. Heath's gotten little to nothing in. And now Heath, here he comes. Went for a closed line, Moose scooped him up, and Moose with Heath. Oh my god! What a body slam from Moose. Takes down Heath again. Now Moose with Heath deadlifts him. Military presses him up. Drops him down. And now Moose. Whoa! Heath! Leapfrog the spear! And now Heath goes for the wake-up call. Moose with a right hook. And now Heath goes for a kick. Moose! With a headbutt. 
Moose getting Heath back up to his feet now, and Moose. Bring up connect. Double axe handle. Uppercut. Double axe handle. Into another. And Moose now grabs onto Heath. Gets him on a knee strike now, and Heath. He's got a hold of Moose. Knee into the back has got him down. Into a cover now. Heath has got Moose. No, not even one. Moose gets back into it. Moose. Pops Heath up on his shoulders. Into. Power bomb. Now Heath. What a wicked clothesline. Moose counters. Turns Heath around now and Moose. Oh my god. What a lariat. And Moose. Sets up Heath. Spear. One, two, three. We got a new digital media champion. What a win there. Your winner and new digital media champion moose we have had two new champions crowned tonight what a week it's been for impact eh samoa joe speaks up next Ladies and gentlemen, the Impact World Champion. If you didn't catch it earlier, I finally made it work. That's right, he's not a call anymore. Samoa Joe storming down to the ring. He has been the Impact World Champion now. For almost longer than anyone's ever been a champion in LS11 Universe. Let's see what he's got to say. Over 450 days. Over 450 days. I am 10 days away from being the longest reigning champion in the history of the LS11 universe. For the last several months, there's only one thing I've heard. So you know what? The time for talk is done. You want it. Say his name! Say his name and he appears I believe in Joe Hendry I believe in Joe Hendry Well, it's about time we finally met We've had this little runaround for over a year now, Hendry I couldn't agree more, Joe, and I know you expect me to come out here and talk about how you need 252 pounds of pure motivation. You need the answer to all of life's problems. You need Joe Hendry. But I'm not going to give you a motivational speech tonight, Joe. Because you're right, you have been champion for 467 days when you won that title I was still Matt Cardona's lackey. I didn't even have blonde hair yet, and you know what? 467 days I've been thinking about all the different ways that if you finally gave me a shot of that gold, I would take it from you. Scotland. Heroes welcome. Let's do it. No. No, 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 no. You don't get it that easily. So, everyone says you're the one guy left for me to beat. 
on this roster. Well, I don't think you're ready. You're not ready to go head to head with me. It I don't care how you're doing the World Cup. I don't care who you beat, who you haven't beat. You ain't beat anyone I've sent your way yet. So how about it, you little heroes? Welcome, your welcome home party in Scotland. Main event, you fight someone I pick. I got a guy in mind already. And I'll make it fair for you, Joe. I'll make it fair for you, Mr. Hendry. You get to pick my opponent. I don't care if they work here. I don't care if they don't. You pick my opponent. You beat the opponent I pick for you. And Joe Hendry, I will see you in the main event of Bound for Glory. That sounds like a deal to me. Good. Whoa, wait a minute. Samoa Joe took a shot. Hendry. Standing ovation. And Joe Hendry holds the Impact World title to end the night. Until next time, everybody, I've been Xander and that was Universe.